Scotty Phillips is the running back next to Corral. And he'll get a touch on his own read to start things off and a positive play for him. And this offense is predicated on it. They didn't have a whole lot of success on first down last week. Corral pulls it back, and now he's flushed. And on the run, just a tick behind. And no chance post-snap, and that's what we saw last week against Memphis. Young wide receivers for both sides. Here's Arkansas bringing pressure, and on the slant, it's a drop. Dontario. Matt Corral on first down wants to rip it loose. He does, and it's a first down. Needed to get things going. Once again, can Ole Miss capitalize and find rhythm with a first down? And it doesn't look like it because Scotty Phillips offenses will see tonight. And once again, it's Scotty Phillips. And he's. Well, that won the case. And maybe the issue is able to convert this one and breaking free is Ontario Drummond. Drummond. Phillips, left side, able to fear with Jordan Tamu and three wide receivers now in the NFL. Corral pulls it back. On the run, complete. It's Drummond again. Why is Mac over me? There's no sitting still growing up. I was always playing something, whether it was soccer, baseball, football. Terry and Ely, much anticipated for Ole Miss head coach Mike Bianco. Ely sharing the backfield with Snoop Connor now. And so Connor gets how this offense goes to the ground. Connor and Ely back there. It's Connor again. Ran into his own man and bounces forward. I think they let that one go. So a costly flag on Ole Miss. Back to the running game, Scotty Phillips. And we talked. Tom, you're down inside the five, probably. The chance to go up two scores early in this game changes the whole complex. Over the middle on second and 22. Six consecutive completions for Matt Corral. Corral to a slant again behind Jonathan. What does Rich Rod have up its sleeve? Pressure coming over the middle. Incomplete. And losing at home to Louisiana Monroe. Two-man backfield, and Ely had to swing around to find it. Able to take it to the 20. This guy's got... Matt Corral said he wasn't nervous going into his first start last week against Memphis, but he was maybe overly excited. The LSU five and in four plays could not get in. The Tigers stopped when they leave Bruiser. Yeah. Delivers a dime. That's why they love this kid. That's where all the excitement came from. And now nothing doing with Snoop just a little bit. Instead of being a run first guy who can take hits and be magic with the football, might be pass first. Ocean. Interesting because at practice Thursday, we found a football on Ole Miss practice field that had no laces. That's a pass. That's incomplete. Something they practice a lot. And then he missed on the simple shovel pass with the left hand. They're down 17. Deep ball. A beautiful pass. A rainbow that falls incomplete. Just in short, it looks like they tie with Monroe with 18 seconds to go in tally. How about that one? That's your headliner of the day. Scotty Phillips straight ahead. You see Arkansas on that four down. They've been bare, and Ole Miss is at a tough time in the trenches. On second and short, Corral finally gets Corral, but after he... He's going to roll right again. This is a run all the way. And he cuts it back inside. Matt Corral with another two. Takes it inside. Never tied his shoes, but they never caught him either. Here's first and goal. Corral hangs it, hands it off, and Scotty Phillips. And the entire team yeah. and the chemistry within that. Matt Corral was exciting in the first half. The retro freshman quarterback, Corral. The toss looked a little bit forward, and Scotty Phillips takes it to the right side. Slowed by an ankle injury last year. Third and seven over the middle, complete. A tick behind Elijah Moore. This was an anemic offense last week up at the Liberty Bowl. Ole Miss never got it going. Third down, more often than not, the play's designed to go to him and corral. Just shy. Phillips got knocked at the line next to him. 
Little option look. Fake. He lost the football into the hands of the Razorbacks. Joe Fouché. Backfield. Corral pulls it back from him. Wants to throw on the run. Intermediate route incomplete. But new at receiver, that's one of those you might throw up your hand and hope that Corral sees you and launches it. Pressure coming. Corral will chuck this one out of bounds. May have gotten with a face mask because they went through a couple different high schools in California. And hands this one off. Playing real on the left side. This is Scotty Phillips. And he is down. The ball was really close to breaking the plane. They'll get the snap off. Phillips right side. That one breaks the plane. Right from An opportune time for a turnover for Arkansas. Snoop. Second and seven for Corral. Out to Cooley. He makes two miss. Octavius Cooley with a first down run for Ole Miss. Corral keeps it. Ooh. He's going to take some hits. Thanks to the Ole Miss takeaway. It was messy. Here's a second and nine now. And Phillips with a first down run. Some trinket tooth necklace like that. Corral. Late pitch. Now that'll net Ole Miss a couple more yards. And the ball came loose. Arkansas with the takeaway. Cameron Curl with the run back. And the Rebels finally. Stratton to the five and a score. Right. Danger of starting the season 0-2 for the first time since 1988. I don't think it's going to be the Vols in Atlanta, regardless of if they can pull guards in a game. That's pretty good. More than I had in the Grove earlier. Yes, just I don't think you completed a pass hey, in the Grove hey. out of the shotgun. And they do. This is Snoop Connor. Grab your green hat. We're going streaking. Does a loaded backfield. Scotty Phillips, the leader.